Hello, welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Ilham Ahmadov. President Ilham Aliyev congratulated Azerbaijani people on the occasion of Nowruz holiday. The message states, Dear compatriots, I sincerely congratulate you on the occasion of Nowruz holiday and wish each one of you robust health and happiness. Novruz holiday, deeply enrooted in the Azerbaijani lands, claims a worthy place in the national treasury of our people. This people holiday, being a thorough manifestation of rich inner world and optimistic worldview of our ancestors, penetrated to the deepest layers of our existence since hundreds of years, contributed to the evolution of national self-consciousness and transforming into a career of high values brought together our people around the single morality. We were able to keep the belief in the future in the fateful moments of our history, at the same time thanks to the moral strengths gifted by the spring holiday. During the time when the globalization waves are spreading, celebrating the Nowruz traditions and keeping this holiday alive with all its colorfulness is the expression of our respect to our multi-century cultural heritage. Engulfed with good spring mood, multiplied with our bright victory, we continue large-scale reconstruction and renovation works at the lands liberated from the occupation for the second year in a row. The spring holiday raises our spirits to work even harder to improve and bring back to normal this native lands which can now take a breath of comfort. On this holiday day, they commemorate with gratitude our heroes who had sacrificed their lives for the territorial integrity of our motherland and extend my congratulations to the Azerbaijani soldier valorously defending our motherland. I'm confident that the fact that our compatriots living abroad celebrating together with us and united around ideology of Azerbaijanism will strengthen their bonds to their motherland in their hearts. The resolution of the nationwide duties is awaiting us in the future. I believe that each one of us will show the resolve to build and create with race, spirits and solidarity in the atmosphere of refreshing spring and we will be able to realize our plan of great return to Karabakh. I wish all of you the spring mood. May this holiday bring each house, each family a lot of joy, abundance and welfare. Happy Novruz holiday. Ilham Aliyev, President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Baku, 18th of March, 2022. President Ilham Aliyev signed an executive order on the financial support to Azerbaijan Wrestling Federation. According to the executive order, 1 million manats from the reserve fund of the president is allocated to Azerbaijan Wrestling Federation in connection with the high results achieved at U23 European Wrestling Championship. The views expressed by President Ilham Aliyev during the meeting with the participants of 7th U23 European Wrestling Championship held in Bulgaria once more time confirms that the development of sports is an integral part of the state policy in Azerbaijan. This can be characterized as a support to measures and steps taken in the development of healthy use and healthy society. You join international competitions in different countries. You are probably too young for that and have just started participating in international competitions. But I'm sure that our senior athletes, coaches and sports professionals can definitely see this how much the attitude towards Azerbaijan has changed because we represent a victorious country and a victorious people. Now Azerbaijan is presented as a victor of the just battle in all the international arenas and the strength that this victory gives radically changed the attitude toward Azerbaijan. Those to whom we pinned our hopes of justice are amazed as to how we restored justice by our own. Our tricolor flag raised with the resolve of our athletes now represents our glorious victory to the entire world. President Hamaliev always showed special attention to the development of sports. The head of state transformed Azerbaijan into a sport country and sports into the integral part of the state's policy. It is a result of this policy that international sport achievements of Azerbaijan are dynamic and sustainable. The state care to athletes along with the resolution of their social problems is also brought about the establishment of high-level sports infrastructure. It is natural that big results require strong preparation and the process must be non-stop. Specifically, for that purpose, the establishment of favorable and modern conditions for the training of athletes, for the participation in international contests and for the involvement in sports is always under the spotlight. In short, the development of physical culture and management of sports movement in Azerbaijan is developing. 
Along with this, each citizen must contribute to the mass character of sports in the country. Only in this case, it is possible to achieve the desirable results in the implementation of strategic duties. The Azerbaijani sports will conquer new heights. Yet another historic event took place in Shusha on March 18th. 30th anniversary of the cooperation between Azerbaijan and the UN was celebrated in our cultural capital. This means that Shusha turned into a diplomatic space for conducting international events. This event was significant for a number of reasons. However, it should be emphasized that alongside the UN-Azerbaijan cooperation, the main point of this gathering was to consider the priorities and opportunities of our country in the realities of the post-conflict period, its important contribution to peace, security and cooperation in the region. After achieving independence, one of Azerbaijan's priorities in the foreign policy was to establish cooperation with international organizations. In that sense, our country, declaring its intention to coexist in peace and friendship with all countries and peoples and to closely integrate itself into the world community, places special importance on cooperation with the UN, the most reliable and influential international organization. Azerbaijan is among 12 countries around the globe and is the first in our region that has submitted a third voluntary national review report on the implementation of the 2030 agenda. Scoring 72.4 out of 100 points possible on the SDG Achievement Index, Azerbaijan ranks 55th out of 165 countries in the 2021 Sustainable Development Report was the best result in the region. Becoming an equal member of the UN family on March 2, 1992, Azerbaijan leads a successful policy for constant development and strengthening of these relations. From the very beginning of the cooperation, the great leader Hedar Aliyev drew the attention of the international community to the realities of Azerbaijan from the organization's platform. President Ilham Aliyev also raised important global issues from the UN platform that are of concern to both our country and the world. In 2011, Azerbaijan was elected a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council, and the world recognized Azerbaijan as a strategic ally and reliable partner. Today, the participants of the meeting, dedicated to the 30th anniversary of the azerbaijan yen partnership, arrived at Fizuli International Airport by Han Candy plane, got acquainted with the conditions created there, and then went to Shusha. Because Shusha witnessed a historic event dedicated to the 30th anniversary of the azerbaijan yen partnership. Assistant to the President Hikmet Hajiyev also stressed this. He said that Shusha was occupied and destroyed in March 1992, two months after Azerbaijan became a member of the United Nations. Today, Shusha acts as a diplomatic center for discussing UN-Azerbaijan relations. In the Agenda for Sustainable Development until 2030, UN member states unanimously recognize the importance of peace for development. In that sense, the event which took place in Shusha is a great impetus given by Azerbaijan to the main mission of the United Nations. Today, we are reconstructing the territories destroyed by Azerbaijan during the occupation with implementation of the most advanced standards and technology. Provision of safe and dignified return of our citizens to these territories is a priority. This is also of great significance for the fulfillment of sustainable development goals announced by the UN. Also during the pandemic, Azerbaijan put forward significant global initiatives for strengthening of international solidarity against the vaccine nationalism. It has provided financial and humanitarian assistance to about 80 countries. The initiative to establish a UN high-level panel on global recovery after COVID-19 also belongs to Azerbaijan. At present, based on the highest principles of international law, our country successfully implements peaceful coexistence of different cultures, religious tolerance, protection of fundamental human rights, protection of education and creative rights, sustainable development in economic and social spheres. This creates a basis for new achievements in Azerbaijan-UN cooperation. The memory of the martyrs of Çanakkale was commemorated at the Turkish Martyrs Memorial in Baku. A wreath was laid at the monument complex. Then, employees of the Turkish Embassy in Azerbaijan and the military attaché visited the Alley of Martyrs. Information was provided about the participation of Turkey in the First World War and the Battle of Çanakkale. It was noted that the persistent resistance of Turkish soldiers to the Allied forces in Çanakkale led to changes in the world. The Turkish people achieved to protect their lands and independence by sacrificing hundreds of thousands of people in this war. That was all for the day. Thanks for being with us. Goodbye.